Hi there, welcome to part B of the video and um, today is like I was saying the three things you need to attract quality people on your team because business is a team sport, life is a team sport, if you want to win the game you have to have the strongest people on your team. It's not about being a one man show. So the three things are mindset, skill set and heart set. So basically you want a person on your team that has the same mindset. So you don't want people that are just working for the money or just working nine to five. You want people that are um, working because it's their passion. They're working because they love what they do. Um, you want people that's on fire. Um, because I met a business owner a couple of months ago and he said, um, Richard, my, my staff just lacks motivation. Uh, they just lack passion. Then I said, okay, but when I asked you, um, what do you do? You're like, oh, we are... Uh, this IT company, you had no passion, you had no fire. You see, as a business owner, the fire starts with us. We set the culture, we set the tone. So many people say, okay, but where do we attract these um, on fire, passionate people? You attract who you are. So you first have to become passionate, you first have to, you first have to love what you do, and then you attract other people that love what you do. Then you all have the same mindset, that you're not just there for money, you're there for a bigger purpose. Um, you therefore there's excellence and I mean when you working because it's your purpose when 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 you achieve excellence you will make money money is a byproduct of that like I've mentioned money is not the ends goal money is the means goal um, so that's mindset and the second thing is you want to look for is you want to look for people um, by their skill set and not the same skill set so like I am an analytical my partner is creative um, I don't need another this analytical person. You want a person that, that has a skill set that you don't have, so that you complement it. And that's why we, why we work, because we there's opposite skill sets. But many people, when they're building a team, they're like, oh, you analytical, I'm anal analytical, let's work together. Or you creative, I'm creative, let's work together. Then it's a big party. <laughs> you need um, like someone that's the exact opposite of you, someone who doesn't have the skills, because that's what you're paying for. Because if you had the same skills, why would you have that person on your team? And um, and then the third thing is heart set. You have to trust the people that's on your team. You have to trust your business partners, you have to trust your partners in life because many times people have a team but then they don't want to I mean, delegate. They're like, no, 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 there's no one can I mean, do it like me. <laughs> uh, but you have to trust people. You have to I mean, delegate certain levels of authority, certain levels of tasks, and, and your business will expand because now you're not in the business, you're on the business. I remember a couple of years ago, I went to a workshop where there was just 500 CEOs there, and the speaker uh, of the morning, he runs up the stage, um, and he doesn't say, hello, or my name is, he's like, write this down, the biggest, problem in my business is me <laughs> I was like whoa you tell that to CEOs and many times when we get out of the way our businesses get better and better